Aloha, I'm Hurricanes, I'm your host, and this is King of the Hill. Hello guys, Aragons here, and today, well, just before we get into the video, there's a bit of explaining to do. Um, basically, this person called Jester, he joined King of the Hill, and for the start of it, we had n no doubts that he was what he said he is. He's just a normal guy who joined King of the Hill who's called Jester. Hyphens between every single letter. No idea why that must annoy the hell out of him logging into Ninja Kiwi. Just like... <laughs> that would piss me off. <laughs> but okay. Um, so, I've no idea why people doubted this. Uh, but people in the King of the Hill team, uh, they were like, uh, Are we sure he's who he says he is? So we did a bit of a background check on him, and yes, we are that sad that we do background checks on people now. <laughs> um, so we found out that he is not who he said he was in the first place, and he's actually the Dark Affliction, which surprised me because days uh, the day before um, I found that out, I beat him in the night challenge two to three. And I responded like, oh my god, I'm the best player in the world. <laughs> uh, you can suck my dick, I'm the best. <laughs> but, yeah, so, he came to be king a few days ago. And, yeah, so, the Dark Affliction is in the king spot. Or... Will he be after this game where Mo Money, aka Third Member, aka Golden Rule, aka Pro Battles, aka absolutely every single name in the book? There's a goddamn bug on my computer. Get it off. Yeah, bitch. <clears throat> you mess with. Not me. Then, <laughs> anyhow, let's get in. To these epic games. Honestly, these are the two best players in the world. I'm sorry I suck at battles. Uh, uh, you were good in your prime. You can probably still freeze her on me, but okay. Okay, let's just let's just get into the game before I start saying anything and dig myself a big hole. Uh, yeah, but these are gonna be some epic games. Two kings. Two of the best players in the world, in my opinion. Um, yeah, so it's going to be absolutely great. Two legends. Two definite legends. <laughs> I Honestly, no more words can be said to depict how epic this will be. But let's get in to the games. Right, so fun fact. There's only ever been one... King series uploaded to King of the Hill channel. And if you miss those records, shit! Jested is basically a jester. This is his out. And 240 to 10. And a little bit of knowledge on that. I, I think most of them are disconnects. So that's brilliant, and Mo is on his alt called Mo Lester's. <laughs> uh, I'm his name is Mo. I'm pretty sure his name is Mo. If he's hiding his real name from us, I'd be very mad, very very mad. Cause Mo, I love you. You know that. But any secrets in this relationship, and I'm I'll tie the knot with a different person. So I got load of bitches on the side. <laughs> so, what what's happening, bruh? What's happening, man? Right? What is happening? Ice on ice flow. Have we seen that? 
No. And there's been about 10 episodes of King of the Hill on uh, on this new map, Ice Flow, for the starting map. And we've never seen ice. Now, if you didn't know this, ice was actually a strat that I made on Ice Flow before the uh, timer was changed. So um, it was four seconds before everything on the screen was popped, or four, four seconds after everyone, every balloon on the screen had popped on either player's side. Um, so the sort of anti-stalling, uh, or stalling was just a little bit better, so you could get a lot more income than you can now. Um, so I made this strat for super income, and you could defend round 38 incredibly easy. Um, so yeah, that's why I made it. Um, it succeeded, but after the patch, I thought it didn't work as well because round 30, uh, eight or round 30 plus Zomagods get stronger so much quicker, and it's just incredibly hard to defend. But um, you can actually defend on this map round 35. So I take back all my words when I said it's impossible. It's not impossible because I have done it. I've defended uh, four Zoma Gods, which is actually, I, I, I surprised myself, incredibly. It's an incredibly hard thing to do, but I think any, any of you guys um, can do it. If I can do it, you guys can do it. Um, so yeah, I believe in you, man. I believe in you. <laughs> so what's, what's been a problem with this strat? Well, round 11 and round 8 can be a tricky um, experience. Not getting up enough defense for whites. Uh, maybe like an insta regrow can be the can be an absolute bane of your life because now that lives sort of matter when both players are using this strat and can defend round 35, which I'm sure both of these can, it is detrimental to keep those lives. Uh, and on round 8, uh, Jester or TDA, should I call him TDA or Jester? <laughs> I'm gonna call him TDA. Um, so TDA, he's getting, um, he got up his 1-2 Mortar and a Grape Shot, so that's about 500 pounds more than Mo spent. But look at this, look at this. Round 11, Rushes has been sent, who may leak? Actually, nobody. Mo actually uh, saved his skin with the grape shots, just hitting those, uh, hitting the end of the balloons. And actually, Jester asks for a draw. I have no idea why anyone would ask for a draw. Everyone has a weakness on this map. And actually, Mo says, "Okay, so they they're gonna draw." Wow, I was not expecting that. Why would you draw? I mean, I know it's TDN, I know it's Mo, so it's hard to get lives on them, but seriously, I would not I would not say yes at that point. I think that's a bit of a stupid decision. That could have been an easy win for either of them, because you just get down either player on lives on maybe round 15 via a camo exploit, uh, with like regrow leads, grouped regrow leads, grouped zebras and grouped rainbows, and then you would send yellows or pinks, camoized of course, and that easy like, if they don't get additional camo detection, easy like 60, 70 lives on them. So that's a big cushion of lives um, to defend a uh, rush and then just win. Uh, so yeah, that's pretty nice. Um, but if they do get additional camo detection, if you get lucky, and by lucky I just mean like, 51% lucky, <laughs> you know, 1% over normal luck, <laughs> and you can get two free lives on them, you know, and those two free lives on them are all you need at this point to actually win the game, in my opinion. Uh, that's just sort of my technique of play. You, you get them down on lives, so around 35, you can um, really uh, just defend their rush. And they have no, they have no, uh, well, they have no more chances to kill you. So there's just no point. You just get them down on lives and defend because that is really sort of my forte. 
Um, but, you know, it's, uh, it's up to these guys how they want to play. But I think uh, definitely both of these players are legends. Um, so they can definitely get lives on each other. Uh, definitely fight fire with fire. Um, so, yeah, but that's uh, half a point to each player. Um, Mo will pick the map because he's the challenger. Uh, so, yeah, let's get into the game. Okay, so another fun fact about uh, <laughs> TDA is that none of his games as King has actually been on the King of the Hill channel. So, uh, TDA has only ever been seen once on the King of the Hill channel. Or, no, twice. Um, versus Assassin Boy and then versus Icicle Battles uh, in a random match. Um, Nicotin Spot. No nah, man, no nah, man, that is uh, Trikazora's spot. Mo, uh, or Mo Lester's, uh, <laughs> Mo is using the Trikazora's spot. Uh, basically, Trik, you used it. Nah, Nicotin, he's a great player, but Trikazora's actually made this spot. Uh, the spot that Mo is using was made by Trikazora's, and uh, the key point of it is to actually sort of defend Zoms, uh, or Z-O-M-G's. Zoms, I don't know how to Zeppelin of Mighty Gargantua, shut up. Uh, <laughs> um, so, uh, Trikasaurus just made this spot to be able to defend Zomite Gods because um, if it's further down the player sent balloon path, um, then it's easier to have. It's because if you. Ah, I'm explaining this really badly. <laughs> uh, if you have. Um, your, your sort of bloom popping power further back, you have more chance uh, for your Moab popping power to take all the balloons down. So it's easier to pop as oh my god because you have more time before it gets to the balloon popping power, which uh, Jester has his uh, very early in the map. Um, I mean, typically, uh, most people are actually using the spot, mainly because they just don't know any other spot. And they think it is the best, because uh, on the AI sent balloons, there is sort of like a triangle, or half a triangle to uh, pop it. So there's like a corner around the ice tower, which is very nice. Um, but for the player sent balloons, you know, look at that. There's not much. Uh, but if you think about it, if you can catch... Um, pinks with this sort of, with only like this curve, uh, this curved circle, circular shape on one point of the circle with ice towers, then surely you can uh, pop it, then surely you can catch anything down this straight line where the, um, uh, the AI balloons are. Um, and actually both players, they've got their timing exactly right with the ice towers. Um, <laughs> I remember I taught everyone, I taught you guys, I think it was in the last episode, uh, how to time your ice towers. Uh, there is actually another trick that I have on my sleeve to time ice towers. Uh, to time your ice tower, you can say, you once, you need to place like a 2-0 ice tower, uh, which would be the snap freeze uh, ice tower, which is a very good tower. Um, then you to blah, blah, blah. I'm explaining this really badly. <laughs> I'm stuttering so much. I'm very sorry. Um, you would get your snap freeze, and once it has popped or made the snap where balloons are popped on the screen, uh, you would say maybe one uh, one syllable word, um, and then you would place your next ice tower. And then the next time you would say a two-syllable word, and then a three-syllable word, and a four-syllable word. And I think once you've said um, an eight-syllable word, uh, you cannot uh, time your ice towers anymore. Basically, just because um, at this point, once you've said an eight-syllable word, snap freeze has gone off again. I mean, you can say a... Uh, you could say a three syllable word and then a six syllable word and that is three ice towers timed to perfection uh, but definitely uh, go from one to five on this map to time your ice towers I mean I'm, I know I'm just saying silly stuff but this really does work to how to time your ice towers it's like I would say beans and bacon <laughs> after it snapped and then I would say um, 
I like Megan Fox, <laughs> but really f mu much, much faster than that. Say it like how you would normally say it. Like, I like Megan Fox, and then you place it down. Uh, so basically, yeah, that's how I tie my towers. I know it's a very stupid way, but round 15, I haven't been talking about anything on this game, just teaching you how to tie my towers, which I really shouldn't be, um, <laughs> because people get mad when I do that, when I uh, openly tell secrets. <laughs> So yeah, I mean round 15, you can definitely uh, do a little trick. You can send camo ceramics and if they don't have sort of a balloon jitsu or many distraction ninjas, uh, a camo ceramic can just actually sneak right past the mortar on this map. And then once it's gotten all the way round, basically you uh, only uh, have one chance to sort of micro around your balloons before it gets the ice towers, but definitely most spot is better uh, when they send cameras around. So you can just micro your mortar around. Uh, so that's pretty handy to get the cer camo ceramics because on this spot uh, where they place the mortar, it does leak camo ceramics. So you gotta think, you know, pinks. <laughs> it would leak pinks, wouldn't it? Um, so yeah. Wow, 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 look at what Jester is doing, this is TDA, uh, look at what he's doing, he's spamming these 0-0 zero, zero ninjas, um, so yeah, this is actually quite good Moa popping power, I can tell you that, it is excellent at <coughs> popping Moabs, while Mo, he only gets one Moab Mauler, uh, this is definitely to hint uh, TDA to send a Moab, which would get him down 60 income, uh, which is a good investment because it, uh, in the end, you would have to get two, uh, two Moab Maulers, um, you know, in the end. So you might as well tempt him to use up his money. Uh, and you may notice uh, why has Mo got all these random ninjas. Well, this, uh, well, what he's highlighting to get Flash Bomb up for um, is definitely to turn into the ninja ability. Um, oh, wow, Mo is leaking even more. Whoa, 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 look! He's gotten four lives. He needs to be extra careful. He is actually slowing down these camos, so he just doesn't, definitely doesn't leak. Um, <laughs> Mo is straight facing right now. I would definitely be. Uh, so what is going to happen? What rush is going to be sent? Because Mo, he's just used that ninja ability. He's going to have to buy and resell that if an if a rush is to come quickly. <coughs> Sorry, quickly now. Um, okay, so he's just wasted money selling and rebuying when he probably didn't even need to uh, use the slow down ability on the uh, <coughs> the natural camos in round 22 and now round 23 that means a natural Moab so Mo he gets this uh, Moab Mauler up on first and if you noticed Mo he's just got this random uh, Moab Mauler next to where the abilities are activated so he's definitely got money uh, saved up in that what is he doing yes he gets up to assassin now he's only assassin this oh my god twice so that means his mob maulers can do the work and get them down to a slower bfb um so jester or tda he sent a, a bfb on top of this and now uh, mo definitely needs to get up this uh these two Moab Maulers to pop down any contents of what is to be sent. And, uh, oh my god, Mo just leaked the blue balloon. Uh, look at this. He's gotten them all down to BFBs. And if Mo can defend this, this will be the most broken and nagging feat I've ever seen. Look at this. Look at this. He's got time now to activate abilities. Look at this. Saved by the bell, he might, he just might defend this right now. He used these ice abilities to freeze down these camo ceramics, and what shall he do? He's using this, oh my god! He uses the Moab, not Moab, he uses the mortar, but he doesn't quite get up this mortar ability in time, and he loses, that is one point. 
to Jester or TDA. If that, if Mo defended that, he would have been absolutely. Well, not he to be. It would have been absolutely incredibly lucky for him. Well, not lucky. I I get that down to uh, he's just the best player ever. <laughs> and he can defend anything. Honestly, he has this account called Pro Up Battles where he has. He did have like 500 to zero losses, so that is absolutely amazing. 500 games in a row won and uh, zero losses, but he lost one, so he got it reset. I have no idea why he did that. I'm so mad. He could have got like 1,000 to one loss, and that would have been absolutely amazing. Anyway, um, so yeah, that was absolutely an amazing game. I... Uh, if Mo was just a bit faster on that, he would have defended that rush. I have absolute faith. Um, maybe if he used the ice ability once again and sold the balloon jitsu. Uh, I'm not sure if he did. I think he did, but I'm not sure. If he sold that balloon jitsu and got the ninja ability again and then ice stalled it. Um, with an ice ability and then he would get this mortar ability and he probably would have been fine then because he could have microed in mortar on the frozen balloons and then maybe got two balloon jitsus to deal with the contents of the camo ceramic sent by TDA and he would have been uh, hey presto he would have been fine but uh, that is incredibly unlucky by him just a little bit faster on that and he would have survived of absolute faith but it's uh, 1.5 to 0 0.5 because of the draw and now Mo is to pick the map again let's see what he picks fun fact again <laughs> Mo he's defended around um, I think 40 people for King so that is absolutely amazing um, Jester before this I think he defended around eight people in one day so that shows what an absolute boss he is um, but maybe Mo is just that little bit better uh, and um, I would say another fun fact about Jester but I'm saving that for the next game <laughs> so it's pools and they are using the Caribola strap with these uh, ninja and ice tower and um, you see uh, Mo's ice timing, it's, it's absolutely spot on once he places the next ice tower. He can act, you can actually go only three ice towers on this map, but there is a trick to reset the timing of the ice tower, and that would be to uh, not send any balloons uh, between the uh, gaps in between the rounds. So, you know, in between rounds there's no balloons AI balloons, and if you send no balloons, there's absolutely no balloons on the screen. So uh, the timing that the player has done with the ice towers will be just absolutely... Um, it'll be wasted because you can just reset it just a presto like that. And um, Mo is leaking to pinks, but then I think so is TDA. Actually, no, I think he's leaking to AI balloons whilst Mo is leaking to the player sent balloons. But uh, Jester actually, he's got a lot less lives, uh, 29 lives less, I think, uh, yep. So, balloon income, um, I think Mo has around 305 or something, something like that, um, I'm not quite sure. Uh, should be around 300, definitely uh, around 300. I've no reason, I don't think he'd have any reason to uh, not get 300 income um, because 300 income is around the sweet spot on this map to be able to get 4 ice towers by round 4 safely and quickly. Um, actually farm income, TDA is leading the race by 60 uh, Sixty dollars more each round um, with that two zero farm uh, you get sixty more and that that pays off uh, two zero farms are actually uh, more efficient but um, one zero one zero farm 
Did I say Ice Tower? 2 0 farms are more efficient, but in fact, um, you know, 1 0 farms are cheaper. You know, who's to say which one's better? Uh, I mean, look at this. Mo, he's leaking to uh, regrow whites. That is actually not good for him. Wow, wow, wow. He's leaking even more. He gets that double shot. Big mistake by him, I think, because double shot, if a balloon is right next to um, the double shot, it, it will just target that instead of what it's supposed to be targeting, which is maybe strong, last, first, whatever the ninja is targeting. It just won't care. It'll target close. If once you get double shot and seeking shurikens, round 11 is coming up, so zebras can be sent. Uh, definitely, definitely a big trouble on this map, especially with this strat. If you don't get a balloon jitsu up by round 11, which is actually what Caribola strat entails on this map originally, but people just don't care about that anymore. It costs a little bit too much for people's likings. Um, so yeah, um, definitely instead of getting the double shot up uh, for round 8, I would have just got a 0-0 zero, zero ninja around the end of the player sent balloons track, which is kind of, yeah, he's doing that now. Um, so, wow, TDA, he's leaking to AI balloons. May he die to AI balloons, who's to say? Uh, he's definitely leaking more, Mo is leaking more, down to 8 lives! You would think for the best players in the world they wouldn't make these mistakes, but they are, and a camo exploit is being sent by Mo. Uh, ice abilities just uh, are being spammed by Jester, and uh, basically this is GG. Uh, uh, in the, oh, whoa, 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 who is to die first, in fact? Actually, no, Mo is gonna die, Mo is gonna die, Mo is, Mo, 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 no, 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 no! <laughs> uh, Jester just had enough to just keep spamming that ice ability, which freezes all balloons on screen for four seconds. Uh, he used that around four times I saw, or something like that. Uh, Mo just did not have time to react. Maybe if he used the ice ability as well, but he just kept on selling stuff, going all out on that rush. Maybe thinking Jester did not have enough for another ice ability. Definitely if I was Mo, I would have used the ice ability once, and then gone for camos. Um, because you've got that extra four seconds just on your lifespan, which is maybe all you needed. Um, but wow, well, they both got down to incredibly low lives, which I think is what made Mo send that camo rush, because camo rushing, it is incredibly, incredibly uh, good. You can get people down like 20 lives easily. So eight lives, that's easy mode, you know? Eight lives, done, Venito, that's, too easy, so it's 2.5 to 0.5 to Jester, so TDA, or Jester, is winning this right now by two wins, so that is actually quite a feat by him, uh, in fact, he, he was only, he's only been in King of the Hill for less than a month, I'm not, I'm not sure, maybe it's less than a month, and he's already king again. So that is incredibly well done by him, and yeah, so let's get on to game number four, and and uh, what will Mo pick? We cannot know, but yeah, so let's get on to game number four. Fourth map picked by Mo, this is kind of humiliating, I'm sorry Mo, it just has to be said. <laughs> I'm <laughs> no, no, I'm not passively aggressively insulting you, Jester. <laughs> I know you're incredibly good, uh, and actually, fun fact will back me up on this. You are a legend. Okay, so fun fact: the first time that Mo challenged uh, TDA for the title of king, um, once he got dethroned by him, Jester beat him four-one. Wowzers. I know, 4-1 against Mo. I mean, look at the, I mean, what, 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 wait, hang on. Right. So, what, what tower has been picked every single time 
in this match. Have you noticed it? God damn ice. Ice is just incredibly well, and what I actually observed is as soon as I stopped using ice, everyone jumped on it. <laughs> uh, I, I basically started using ice uh, after round 35 became incredibly hard to defend, uh, because I thought, you know, if I'm going to do this, you know, I might as well use the strat that gives me the most money that I can send the biggest rush with to kill my opponent. And so, yeah, that's what I ended up doing. Um, but after I stopped because I was losing so many matches, I think I was a nine on a nine losing streak or something like that. I just stopped using um, the thingy. The, the ice strat because I thought it was just incredibly bad uh, but then I realized holy crap it's good <laughs> Mo started using it you know, TDA started using it and I was just like oh okay it's good I guess <laughs> so yeah um, so surprisingly uh, Mo He's not going farms on this map. I definitely would go farms on this map because round 35 is quite hard um, on this map. Uh, how many ninjas for round 8? <laughs> uh, four. <laughs> I would say four, four ninjas on strong for round 8 to defend whites. It just gets down every single uh, ninja. What would Trikasaurus do? <laughs> This game is going to ruin the chance of this series making it onto the cough channel. Die on round 20. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> I can't tell if Jester is sort of making a joke. Because on QB, um, I beat him on round 21. I sent a BFB rush uh, with this strat that... Uh, Jester is using and actually just beat him not not actually with the BFB the camos actually killed him on 21 that was pretty uh, it's pretty unfortunate by him that's one loss he could have avoided but wow Jester leaks he leaks boys and girls he leaks whilst Mo is still intact with his lives and now we know what all the all the towers each player has got, uh, because undoubtedly Mo has got the mortar. Uh, if he has any resemblance of uh, knowing what he's doing in this game, he's got the mortar. So um, AI is deadly. Well, AI is not too deadly. I wouldn't say that. Um, so yeah, uh, let's get in to round 11. I'm just, wow, wow, wow. Yeah, Mo will be incredibly, incredibly susceptible to zebras and he's gonna leak a lot of lives to this. I know he is. Yeah, he leaks. He's, he's leaking even more. He's just leaking and leaking and leaking. He definitely should have got that mortar. <laughs> he forgot, wow. Wow, 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 wow. How can you forget, Sir Mo? You let me down! I love you, Mo. If you didn't know, me and Mo were just... We're like... Boyfriends on the internet. Definitely. And Jester asks, why did Mo send... Sell the cannon? Well, yeah, because Shard's OP. And now, wow! Mo, he's got less lives than Jester, but Jester, he cannot defend late game with this. Uh, or not to my knowledge, he can't. Um, round 35 would just be too hard, I think. I mean, I'm not sure. I pro I, mm, I might go on QB after this and then just see if I can get Monji in and defend late game on this map. <laughs> uh, that'll be fun. Yeah, let's do that. Um, <laughs> okay, so... Round 16, the uh, AI balloons, they're just blacks. And you may be thinking, Harry, why are you commenting on this? Well, because once the ninja on Mo's side has got down all of the balloons to pinks, which it will do, uh, what's going to happen? Well, 
it may mess with the timing of the ice towers just like then. Uh, Mo had to change his ninja to first because of the AI whites and uh, actually he leaked more because AI White snuck by his defense whilst the ninja was on first. Um, so yeah, AI is actually quite deadly if you want to go uh, no loss loss because Mo is just keeping on leaking. I, if I was Mo, I'd definitely get a 2-1 ninja. Mo, stop leak, Mo! You're not setting a good example. <laughs> So look at Jester's loadout and he hasn't leaked as much as you, you silly plonker. <laughs> okay, so round 18, ninjas again for Moab popping power by Jester. This, uh, this defense by Jester is actually an incredibly good defense in my opinion. Uh, you can sell like one farm and get the ninja ability, which is incredibly, incredibly effective for defending absolutely any rush. It slows down all balloons by um, half speed, so you have double the time to react, which basically makes the map double the length. Think about it. Uh, you've now got about the uh, same time as defending on Rally, you know, without the ninja ability on Rally. That is absolutely amazing. Um, now look at Jester's income. He says he's got 350, but I don't believe that. I think he's got around 500 or 400. Um, now you see AI Whites, uh, not AI Whites. <laughs> wow, Jester's leaking. You see uh, AI Camos are going to come, um, and Mo he moves his mortar and he gets a double shot up. And a 0, zero Ninja in the middle um, around the player sent balloons. Um, path just to get or catch all the cameras. <laughs> uh, I am tired. I mean, I woke up at two, but I am tired. It's four. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Don't be silly. Uh, <laughs> oh my god! Sexy rush! So oh my god! Let's see what will happen. Oh my god! <laughs> Oh my god, actually, actually, uh, this may actually work because Mo, he doesn't have enough, or what seems, he doesn't seem to have enough for, uh, Mob Assassins and this AI, 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 AI. <laughs> oh my god, I was actually quite scared for Mo then. He didn't have enough for his assassin. He doesn't, he's not getting up any assassins, and actually, he doesn't seem like he has enough for any assassins. Uh, he tries to get this ninja ability and he does, he succeeds, which is going to slow down all of the balloons uh, by a lot. And uh, now Mo, he gets this 4-1 ninja for any of the camos that Jester may send. And actually that pulled off because he did send camo ceramics if you saw that. And he, he is defending this relatively easily, just... Just hope to God that his shards doesn't derp and balloons don't get through. Uh, you can see the shards is taking everything down, but will it leak in a major amount of balloons? <gasps> no. So, what is that I hear? Is that the sound of a a sad TDA? <laughs> uh, I'm just joking, man. <laughs> you know I'm joking. I just been a llama head. I hear, and I hear the sound of a very happy uh, Mo, Mo Lester, uh, <laughs> uh, because now, basically, TDA he's gonna leak the AI Moabs, and just is desperately clinging on to life with this ice ability, but he's gonna surrender. He's gotta surrender. Jester just. Mo is gonna survive. Stop, stop trying. Yeah, and he surrenders. <sighs> I mean, I can't really say anything on that. I think no matter what Jester could have rushed with, uh, I think Mo would have defended it. Uh, definitely, Jester could have not gone any further than round 27 on Mondrian um, because. 
at that point you're incredibly uh, incredibly um, susceptible to getting rushed on round 27 because of all the AI Moabs and Ninja's just not too good at popping Moabs. I mean Shards, if you didn't know, Shards, very good at popping Moabs. Um, off, actually a secret to um, defending round 35 is to get an Ice Shard. Um, you just get an ice shard. Uh, just spam like four or five ice shards round, round the uh, oh my gods. And when balloons get to it, the shards will shard the balloons. And if there's enough, you can actually get the oh my god down half of its life just by a shards. One shards just having maybe a thousand balloons around it or something like that. I don't know. Um, a thousand worth of balloons and ceramics or something and boom you've gone down as oh my god half of its life pretty impressive ice shards has basically taken over the game and I can't complain I love it I love it some people absolutely hate it but I love ice shards apparently ice is going to get nerfed but I hope it doesn't because it is a brilliant it's a brilliant uh, tower in my opinion. Instead of making great towers bad, make bad towers good. Make glue good. Hail to the yes. <laughs> so now it is 2.5 to 1.5 to Jester still in the lead. Uh, and Jester, what map will he pick? We will have to find out. See you in the next game. Right, so game number one, two, three, four, five, and uh, guess what? Ice again. <laughs> Ice is an incredible tower. It is used everywhere, but you know, it's it's just like boomers used to be. Boomers used to be absolutely everywhere, and you cannot complain. You know. Um, it's in the game. If it's if it's OP, use it, choose it, abuse it, refuse to not use it. I don't know. <laughs> I don't actually say refuse. It's refuse. <laughs> okay. So we see both players going ice on Zen. This is actually the Caribla strat. Um, yep, yeah, there goes the farms, um, by Jaster. Uh, what is going to be used by Mo? Maybe it's farms, maybe it's not. Uh, we see Mo timing his ice towers to perfection. Four is all he needed. Uh, Jaster only placing three, um... His ice towers seem to be perfectly timed with free ice towers to actually pop all of the pinks that can be sent. Um, basically, weaknesses to um, to uh, the ice is not powerful balloons. It's fast balloons. The only powerful balloons it is susceptible to is... Sometimes ceramics. Ceramics can just leak on by from the ice tower. Um, um, zebras. Zebras can be susceptible uh, to an ice tower. Um, yeah. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's all I can really say about the ice tower. It doesn't have many weaknesses. Um, which makes it such a good tower. Some say would it, it would be OP, but you know, so many people said that about the tack. Um, the tack, when it, you get it up to Maelstorm, it is incredibly good. But you know, it just supplies us with that tower we need. You know, we always used to dream of defending a Rainbow Rush, and we, we've done that, you know? Now we've moved on to defending round 21, a BFB rush, we, we can do that. We, we've just gotten so much better than we were, you know, in the olden days. 
you know now we know the secrets between every single tower in the game we can use every single tower to our advantage uh, we definitely know the greatest secrets in the game now not secrets greatest uh, things we didn't know about the game that we do now uh, we've moved we've moved on a lot I think without King of the Hill Bloons tower defense would not be as it is uh, many of the great players would not be great players because they they had no forum to learn from you know we learn from each other and I think King of the Hill it's been a forum um, for us to learn uh, the best strategies and the best ways in the game and look look powerful balloons susceptible to ice towers I'm actually surprised Mo leaked to uh, that it's, mm, there's ways to defend especially if you get the actual balloon jitsu you're supposed to in the Caribla strat but no one really cares about that anymore <laughs> uh, well no not saying no one cares about Caribla everyone loves Caribla <laughs> uh, I'm just saying you know no one no one really cares about what counter ceramics can do on this map anymore a combo ceramic can actually easily kill people in this map now. Um, just people stopped really caring because Mortar is just incredibly, incredibly overpowered. Um, you know, everyone just stopped caring what it can do. I mean, even on pools it can do it. You know? It's just... It's really hard. To, you know, defense, uh, kind of ceramics, you'd just actually really be surprised. Um, so, you know, Mo, uh, since he hasn't shown a farm, I'm pretty sure he's got bomb. Um, because by now, if you haven't placed a farm on Zen Garden, uh, you're, you're a bit high. You're obviously, yeah, you're obviously high. Um, and I think Mo, he's got lesser income than he did on um, A game. Because I think he had around, did he say his income? I think he had, because he's, he's just been sending reds and blues at this point. While on A game, he was sending like pinks and shits, you know? And actually Mo, he gets up that second mortar, which is actually needed. Uh, actually, look at the mortar timing. There's actually some sick mortar timing, both firing at different times to actually uh, get anything that uh, links from the first mortar. That's, if he knows how to time mortars, he's, that, that, I'd actually like to know that trick. Maybe it's exactly the same as like how to time ice towers. Never know. Maybe it's exactly the si same as how to time, you know, snipers. <laughs> Okay, now round 18, yep, yeah, he placed the bombs, which I definitely uh, called it, I called it man, I called it, I called it bro, you can't say different, <laughs> so Jester, he seems to love these ninja spams, definitely I am one to agree with that, I do love it, uh, definitely ice, and ninja spamming, one of my favorite things. <laughs> um, so, I for some reason I'm tired. I woke up like nearly just around three hours ago, and I'm tired. I'm surprised, but yeah, so AI ceramics, uh, not a problem. This balloon jitsu will definitely clean up. Um, definitely surprised at that. I mean, uh, a BFB rush is sent, and all Mo did was get this ninja ability. He's just getting one more bomb tower, and what is he getting? He's getting this flash bomb for uh, AI Moab. AI, not Moabs, AI balloons. And look at this, the flash bomb just barely caught that, um, 
that Moab and now Mo is actually leaking to AI. I'm surprised. Actually, I don't know. Maybe he will defend this. Maybe he won't. But Camo Ceramics are sent. But Mo just with that flash bomb and the uh, the Bloom Jitsu, he will defend this, and he's done very well to defend this. I I'm actually uh, very. Uh, uh, no, I can't speak. Uh, pat on the back, Mo. Well done. You've defended this. I know you have. I don't even care about that AI, Moab. I know you've won. Okay, I know you've won. GG. Um, Mo, he's going to use the ice ability, which he does. And Jester, or TDA, he's leaking to the AI pinks. as an, And as his ninja ability runs out, those pinks just run by. And that is GG. Mo, it's all G now. It's all G. Cause Mo, he's equalised the score, two point five to two point five. That is a very well done and well deserved comeback, Mo. I mean, it's not exactly a comeback if it was, if it was like a three to um to zero and you nearly three zero four zero him, you know. Uh, wouldn't be too great, but it's 2.5 to 2.5, and I'm definitely going to have a bit of a lay down. All this talking has got me in a bit of a headache, and um, so, yeah, it's 2.5 to 2.5, and Jester is going to pick the map. What shall he pick? I, th I have a sneaky suspicion it's going to be like Hydro or Temple. So yeah, let's get into game number one, two, three, four, five, six. Let's get into game number six. What will Jester pick? Swamp. He picks Swamp. <laughs> On my favorite map. I absolutely love Swamp. Um, it is incredibly sexy just because of the curvature. I've always wanted like a circle there. Circular map because cluster bomb OP cluster bomb is definitely just Incredibly overpowered on this map. It's incredibly easy to defend But quite hard to get income you can get exactly uh, the sweet spot with sort of the tack ninja and bomb combo Which I used to use now I'd use a uh, sort of Boat or Bomb, Ninja, Ice, Mortar, mainly just because Ice gives you an incredibly good income which you can exploit uh, the fact that you can get incredibly good income and then defend round 35. Um, and Mo says, phew, he literally just catched that red with the Cluster Bomb and now round 4 appears and well, guess what? Well, not much. That's exactly the point. We're just going to see some easy defending where no one's going to really leak any lives because Swamp is just way too easy. Um, I feel as if there's literally sort of no point in even commentating over this game because there's not much to be said um, until we get onto the rush. Um, if you notice, literally um, they're just going to get maybe two ninjas up for round, uh, round six, and they're just gonna, you know, sort of defend round six, and our lives lost, because it's incredibly easy. Um, yeah, so Mo is highlighting the ninja, he's been highlighting it for a while, and Jester shows that he's got the boat, not even hiding the fact that he can sink in a BFB uh, if Mo was to choose to send one. You know, and Mo, he just gets one zero zero ninja. Definitely, I would uh, get another zero zero ninja on strong, just to be sure that you can catch any leaks. And Mo makes sure of that as he gets the second zero zero ninja. Uh, Jester with this grape shot, he's doing good. He's definitely doing good. There's nothing more that gonna really happen apart from round eight Re regrow blacks may get jester uh off guard and mo he he showed us that he has the boat and this ninja is actually his choice of tower to 
uh, placed down. And now Mo, he's getting Rigo rushed, but then so is Jester. This uh, this grape shot is it enough? He's placing a 0 0 ninja, maybe just catch the leaks. And Mo, Mo, he leaks! Two lives! Oh my god, that is actually quite detrimental to Swamp. Swamp is incredibly easy to defend around 35, in my opinion. But neither of these geezers have ice. <laughs> ice would definitely be my choice to defend round 30, uh. Round 35 plus, just, uh. Ninja, boat, mortar. Um, ice, easy, uh, easy to defend in my opinion. Um, round 11, no, like, um, what's my who did sent? No, um, no zebras or anything. Round, on round 8, Jester almost leaked. He could have been round, he could have been, uh, 148 lives buddies and uh, let's see if there's any round 13 rush there is and Jester he just sends a regular small rod and Mo he just chooses to micro this but his 4-0 cannon leaks all of these lives he just did not have enough oh my god and Jester even has enough to send the regrow rush and get the cannon now round 15 on this map, incredibly easy, you just get a 4-2 cannon or a 4-0 cannon with distraction ninja. It's incredibly, incredibly easy to defend on this map. Um, just a few tricks of the trade and you can get relatively nice income. Uh, neither of these guys choosing to send any ceramics. Definitely against Jester, I would test his luck with those, uh, with that distraction. Um, okay, so, look at this. Being extra safe, getting that 4-2 cannon up, whilst Jester just was not sending anything. My, my, um, my technique is just to not get anything any defense and just go income with the money I have if anyone is not rushing. If he's, if someone's not rushing you, what's the point in getting a defense? You know, sometimes in round 18, I don't even get the Moab Mauler. You know, and sometimes I only get one and a frag cannon and basically they just think, you know, what if he has a secret amount of cash that he can just get that Moab Mauler up and I've spent 2,000 quids on nothing and he's only spent money on getting the defense that he's gonna require in a bit uh, and I've wasted 60 income you know that that thought process goes through everyone's head now round uh, 19 um, just a few leads and zebras uh, I think, and a few Rigo pinks. Um, now, what could be sent by Mo? Well, boats, um, definitely, definitely way too easy to defend. He's, he's highlighting fast cooldown Moabs and he's sending quite a few. Don't know why he's doing that. Uh, fast cooldown mobs, way too easy to defend on this map. Look, he's just going to get that ninja slowdown ability, get another 4 2 cannon, and he's just going to be completely fine. I mean, look at this. Uh, uh, he's going to leak a bit, but that's completely fine. Jester is not going to lose any lives. He just places down a few 0 0 cannons, and he gets this uh, 4 2 cannon, knowing that. Uh, Mo is gonna lose. Uh, he sell Jester sells all of his towers um, and to send pinks, uh, knowing that Mo just cannot defend this with this Blunjitsu. Mo just dies. Um, you, you know, I I saw that coming off, coming a billion miles off. Mo, you definitely should have not sent that rush. Um, that was kind of a silly rush on your part. Um, Definitely, it was way too small. Um, you just didn't have enough 
to send maybe if you sent maybe four or three more fast cooldown Moabs just sell a few stuff and hope that he doesn't notice that you maybe uh, sold a balloon jitsu and a mortar and easy easy four free fast cooldown mobs you can send on top of that and I think that definitely would have killed Jester just that three or four fast cooldown moabs um, you know because he sold his mob maulers uh, before he popped all of those I think and he just let the 4-2 cannon pop the remaining bit of the uh, Moab, um, which is definitely a cool trick. Um, and then he, he had time to get another 4-2 cannon up and get a load of ninjas and shears. And he just defended that really easily. I definitely would have not gone for that rush myself. Um, I think Mo just panicked because Jester had boats and boats are just incredibly, incredibly good at defending. You know, you get that boat, you can take down a BFB, you can take down anything you want. It's just an incredibly good tower. Uh, so yeah, that's 3.5 to 2.5 to Jester. Um, it's looking quite good for him. And let's get in to game number one, two, three, four, five, six, game number seven. And Mo picks the next map and the map is Temple. Temple is uh, one of my favorite maps now. It's kind of replaced cards because um, ice on cards is just not too great in my opinion. Well, well, it it definitely works, but defending late game is quite hard on cards, mainly just because it's a, a very small map, and I I basically rely on defending round 35 now, because um, it's just an incredibly good tactic. You get them down on lives, you're high up on lives. Uh, they think, oh no, he's got ice, he can definitely defend a round 20 rush, which is definitely quite true, it is very easy to defend round 20 to round 22, round 27 rushes, um, you know, it is, it is hard um, when you're in the moment, but definitely ice prevails you, and... Um, you just will defend very easily with ice round 20 plus and everything. And Mo, look, he's, send, he's doing that trick that I said about not sending any balloons during the uh, the round switching. And Jester's ice tower, it timed itself. And oh my god, no, Jester leaked. And he says, lol. <laughs> okay, so... Um, Jester can still win this and still proclaim the um, king spot. I didn't see a thing. <laughs> so Jester he gets this third ice tower um, and I think he leaked even more. Wow, your ice is timed. <laughs> perfect. Perfect with my screen. Yeah, it, is, it, it does look perfectly timed on uh, Mo's screen, but obviously on Jester's screen, definitely different. Uh, definitely perfectly timed on Mo's screen, so that's definitely good for him. Um, and, okay, they're just going to income, getting greens for income and everything, and on round 8, they're probably going to get a 1-2 mortar with burning stuff and then spam ice towers. Um... I think Mo stopped a little early on his income. Um, this is just me, but I send income uh, till the very uh, last second. I can squeeze all of my money out of myself. Um, I get around 600 income before I get uh, the 1 2 mortar, and then I would spam the ice towers. Uh, Mo gets a second snap freeze. Wow, uh, he's definitely trying to be incredibly safe. And he gets this uh, zero, 0 Ninja in the back as well, so he wants to be incredibly uh, anal about No Lives Lost. Um, 
which is definitely a good thing. You definitely don't want to leak all of these lives. Um, but definitely these two snap freezes, wow, they're doing Mo very nicely. And Mo, he gets his second 0, zero Ninja and he leaks a few more lives, but that's okay because Jester leaked even more down to 137 lives. I did not see that. Uh, these clean up ninjas in the back, you're definitely going to do them good. Um, two zero zero ninjas can actually catch uh, the spaced pinks that get by the mortar on um, round 12. Um, Okay, so let's just hope that Mo doesn't leak any balloons, and he does! He does! Oh my god, but he stays one life ahead of Jester. I'm sure we're all on, on the uh, end of our seats hoping that Mo just does not leak one more life. Um, because I definitely want to see a, uh, like a 3-4 win or anything. That's a very nice uh, thing to see, and actually Jester leaks to uh, the spaced pinks. I'm not sure why um, Jester is not sending anything, but now that uh, Mo has got this zero zero ninja on top of the one free mortar, uh, on top of this uh, one uh, zero um, ninja at the back, he's definitely safe to. Uh, the space pinks that gets by on the mortar on this map. Um, you leaked one lol. <laughs> um, basically, two zero zero ninja is enough to uh, take down the space pinks that leaked by the two free mortar on this map. I don't know. I've said that a billion times. I'm sorry. <laughs> uh, so, what do you think their income is around now? I think it's around one thousand or something like that. You, I can't really be sure, but Mo, um, he's highlighting this big, uh, these, uh, the, 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 the <laughs> he's highlighting the 2-1 ninja, and he gets the 2-1 ninja after Jester sends these, uh, these grouped leads with the group zebras with, uh, camo ceramics. Definitely didn't get through. <laughs> Now we know that nothing got through, uh, we can all get back on the uh, comfy side of our seat and not the edge of it. <laughs> so Mo, he get, he's preparing for Moab's. Um, so I think now their income is around 1.1k. Um, knowing, because I know that Mo, he doesn't like to be incredibly greedy. I know that he's quite greedy. Jester, uh, he says his income is one point. 1,500, um, which is definitely around the income that I would get. Um, how? Well, he's got a few less lies than you, and he didn't get, he wasn't so anal about no lies lost. He just sort of uh, lived life on the, um, the edge. So, yeah, that, that, on the edge, man, on the edge. <laughs> Definitely the best way, that's how I like to do it. Live on the edge um, with King of the Hill, just uh, not quite get the defense that is necessarily needed. Um, so, um, round 20 rush, maybe round 23, we cannot be sure. Um, round 21 is coming up and Oh my god, uh, a camo exploit is trying to be done, but actually nothing leaked, and a flash bomb and a double shot by Mo uh, being very, 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 very um, careful. Uh, he had just quite the right amount of dexterity moving that mortar uh, to catch all of the leaks with the camos, and Mo, he's getting up. What is he doing? I'm just sort of looking at that like, why? Why would you place three random zero zero ninjas around the top on a on round twenty four, where the only balloons are regrow pinks? 
and yeah, a few zebras, but you know, you've got mortar and cleanup. You know, you're perfectly safe. AIs are scary. No, AIs aren't scary. Oh, whoa, 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 whoa! I did not see that leak. I did not see anything leak. Seriously, nothing. Now Moe's sending a camo exploit and he's sending these uh, regrow pinks, uh, not regrow pinks, camo pinks, but will Jester leak anything? He gets these, uh, he gets this ice ability, but still will he leak? He gets this 4-2 ninja. And no, no leaks at all. Uh, and e Mo leaks even more. And Mo says GG. He thinks he's done. But I have all faith. All faith that Mo can win this. Um, so, I mean, Jester's income is quite scary. He said he had 1.5. which is definitely the income that I get. So I have incredible faith that he can as well. Um, these AI Moabs, they're getting quite far on Mo's side, uh, but uh, if you didn't know, um, the shards can actually pop Moabs, so you are actually quite safe. Um, I mean, there is a trick, I think it's only known by me, where you can actually pop Moabs with Gloom. Um, I've only ever done it on QB versus, like, newer players, like, zero wins, zero losers. Um, so yeah, I just sort of get... <laughs> well, like, no, I'm not spelling the beans on this. This is the biggest secret I've ever known. <laughs> I'm gonna actually keep this secret to myself this time. Uh, so late game is actually gonna happen. I should have sped this up, honestly. Should have spelled, sped, sped this up, should have seen it coming, but I didn't, okay? I didn't. All right. So yeah, <laughs> so round 29 is just a load of ceramics and moabs. Um, Jester has 4k income, or so he says, but I don't believe that. I think he's got around 5k to 6k, because that's around the income that I get by round 30, and, and sometimes 7k, especially on Swamp. Um, it's just an incredibly easy map. Uh, Mo, he's getting, he's highlighting another mortar, but will he get a second mortar? It's definitely clever to get a second mortar, um, which he does, so he does get a second mortar just to help with those, uh, camo pinks. He definitely just doesn't want to get camo exploited by Jester and lose even more lives, which would be a bit of a stupid option by Jester, especially because he's up on lives. You don't want to rush someone when you're up on lives because you're basically just getting rid of a cushion. Uh, of money and lights. So, um, there's definitely going to be a late game rush. Uh, Mo's probably got around 30k saved up by now, maybe around 27k lowest. Um, and now he's sending blues. He, start, he, he starts by sending a single Zone My God on round 32. And if you didn't know, you can actually stall a Zone My God on round 35 just by getting that ninja ability all the way. All the way through round 35 to round 30. Um, what round is it? Round round 38. Uh, so yeah, you can stall it, and you don't even need to pop it if it's just one. Or actually, no, infinite amount of oh my gods can be stalled on round 35 to round 38. So you don't even need to try and defend it. And if you see uh, Jester, he's not assassinating it too much. And he's not um, he's not using the mortar stall so much, which is definitely the best trick to defend round 35. Don't get mob assassins. Don't use the mortar stall until you pop them down to BFBs or anything. What the hell's this? The hell are you doing, Mo? Okay, I think I need to cut that out. Sorry, that's his driving license thingy. Um, so, uh, yeah, so Jester is doing what you're supposed to do, um, popping the Zomigod down into a BFB layer and then mod stalling it. You do not want to, um, 
you don't want to uh, what is it you don't want you don't want to you whoa 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 I'll just finish what I was saying. You don't want to start mortar stalling any of the summer gods until you pop them down to BFBs. You just keep, you just build a few more mob mores and keep using that ninja ability. Don't assassinate or anything because by then, actually placing down more mob mores will be more efficient in the end. Um, two hundred, I think it's two hundred damage that a mob assassin does, and um, so in the end. Uh, 20 each, uh, what is it 20, is it 40? 40 damage to Mavs each pop is definitely just more efficient in the end for uh, popping Zell My Gods at that point. So yeah, so I th the problem with Jess's defense was he kept on uh, he kept on using the Mortar Stall and I, I think he sold his other Mortar thinking that he could just keep on stalling these rainbows, but round 35 rainbows, camo rainbows, camo Chris Barrys, they are just incredibly fast, incredibly fast. Um, so you just cannot mortar stall them and you just leap them. You just, you really do need that 2-4 mortar um, always present on the map taking down the camos and then you need a second 2 form water to use the abilities once you've popped down the zombie gods into BFBs. I think Jester definitely could have defended that rush if he just wasn't um, so silly to uh, do that. I mean, I've died many times to it so I can't exactly call him silly. <laughs> uh, I'm sure he's never really died to it before. I'm sure he's always kept his mind on the game brung is a game <laughs> but you know I definitely always have that 2 form to present on round 35 uh, I mean you can ice use the ice ability and install them uh, which is definitely a good idea but I, I just wouldn't do it um, so it is 3.5 to 3.5 so the next game will decide who is king and we will we will know if it's if it's an old king that is going to be present in the king spot for a long time to come or we are going to see a newer king present only in season 5 to come back into the throne again and enjoy that crown, we will find out. The next game will decide that. I hope it's as epic as I think it will be. My prediction, since they've used a lot of the good maps, I think it will probably be like cards or Hydro Dam. So, let's get on to game number eight, as it is. And the map is Hydro Dam. As I said, I said Hydro Dam. Can't believe this is it. This is the final stretch. The person who wins takes it all, yeah? <laughs> it's like he's Darren Brown, he knows what I'm about to say. Look, look at look at Mo's mortar. He's being all weird. He's doing the mortar glitch. It's a pretty cool mortar glitch, I I must say. I mean, just look at that beautiful thing. Right. So don't. What? Well, okay. So Mo, he's getting this farm up really early. Most of the time on this anti-stall strat, you get the farm up around. How dead am I? <laughs> Normally with this anti stall strat you do a uh, mixed income, which he did a bit. I think he's got I think he has like two five five income or something. And he got this one zero farm. Um, and now Mo he's layering upon this ninja, but Jester, he gets up this double shot right as he needs to. Um, so Mo only now gets this uh, third 
boat. He's definitely learned from uh, <laughs> from his past uh, Hydra Dam strategies where he goes hardly any income for the whole game. I mean, yes, he could defend round 35 and stuff like that, but you know, who cares when you've got swag? <laughs> wasted money. Not really wasted money at all. Who wasted money? I don't know. Should have got farm one eco earlier. Okay. <laughs> so Mo he gets this uh, zero two mortar. You can see because the mortar is in fact just flying all around the space not actually hitting it's not actually gonna hit all the blacks when it's only at zero two and Mo he gets this boomerang um, right now he's got these free one zero bombs and he's gonna get wow we get to another zero zero uh, boat and he, GG round 38 <laughs> Uh, okay, so now Mo he gets up this boomer and then um, what does he do? He's he's sending regrow blacks, more regrow blacks with regrow yellows. Uh, just regrow, 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 regrow. With now regrow yellow, regrow yellow to send. And wow, Jester just does not have enough for this uh, ricochet, and he's gonna leak quite a bit. He leaks uh, 40, 50 lives. Actually, wow, more than ex expected. Um, now Mo he sells is uh, he sells two of his uh, boats and. He leaves uh, two of them left, and now he's de he definitely has not got a good income at all. He's probably got around 350 income from um, from the regrow yellows that he sent, and uh, he's only got around the equivalent to two two zero farms. Whilst Jester, he's got um, a lot more than that. <laughs> Let's just say. Um, so now you see Mo. He's sending space rainbows. This probably uh, whoa. That ended up just with the boomer and the double shot sort of racing to defend. But you see, Jester is preparing for the rainbow rush with the two, two, uh, two zero zero boomers. Um, Probably gonna get one of them up to like Bio Boomer and one of them up to a Ricochet um, if he's cautious about round um, 15. But you see, uh, Mo probably just does not have enough money to defend. Whilst, yeah, he gets the Destroyer and he does not have a second Ricochet, he just has a 0 1 boat. Whilst he sends these uh, rainbows with. Ceramics, they're just not gonna get through the uh Wow, 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 whoa, whoa, that probably did a lot more on Jester's screen. Wow. He sells all of his farms and gets three ricochets with a four two balloon jitsu. And he sells one ricochet, probably gonna go for a rush. Nope, he actually gets a farm. Um now Mo, uh what is he gonna do? Because uh round fifteen rush would probably even just rape him. If he sent like regrow leads with uh, ceramics, if he didn't sell all of his farms to spam like cannon ships, he would be dead. Um, but he's just not doing that. Um, so Mo is just, he's in the green. He's perfectly safe. So now he gets another zero zero boomer. Probably going to get that up to like a. Uh, a uh, turbo charge if he needs to for like a Moab or fast cooldown Moab rush, uh, or fa not fast cooldown Moab rush, fast cooldown ceramic rush because that re works really well. Whilst Jester he gets up this distraction ninja, uh, it's definitely going to get up to um, yeah flash bomb and then into a cooldown um, ninja with the, the the no the slowdown ninja. 
Um, so everything is going to be slower. Now, who do you think is going to win? Definitely the strat that is better late game would definitely be what Jester is using. But whilst that has Ninja, uh, Mo has Boat. So Boat is equally as good as Ninja in my opinion. Basically, the, just the takedown BFB's ability is brilliant. Now Jester, um, he uses the Ninja ability uh, whilst um, he sends the fast call down Moa Brush because the ninja ability slows down everything. Now he gets the turbo charge, and what is he going to do? What is he going to do? He's play. He no, 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 this is GG. This is GG. Mo dies, and that is GG. You see that? Amazing game. Mo, Mo lost. Basically, 4 3. 4.5 to 3.5, basically an incredibly close game. That was an amazing series. The longest one I've ever commentated. It's kind of giving me a headache talking this much. <laughs> but you see that Jester, TDA, he is a legend. He is an incredibly good player. And I don't see anything that Mo could have done. Sold all his towers and mortar stalled. Actually, yeah, if he sold all of his towers and mortar stalled, then the be then the Moab on Jester's side would have just raced through, to be honest. Yeah. Hmm. I'm not sure if Jester popped that mob, I'm not sure. But if he did, yeah, GG, Mo could have done nothing. Yeah. That's it guys. Amazing game. Oh my god. <laughs> I mean, this this series sort of just shows how ice has taken over the whole game. I mean, next it'll be used in hydro. <laughs> hydro ice shredding. <laughs> uh, my god, this is... If anyone does that in King of the Hill, I praise you. <laughs> okay, so... I guess... I'll see you next time, guys. Awesome series. Awesome players, legendary, go down to history, and I'll see you next time. Adios.